Earlier this week, Princess Kate addressed a group of teenage delegates, thanking them for their bravery. Princess Kate owns the stage. Now that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have taken a backseat in royal engagements, according to two royal analysts. It comes after Kate and Prince William traveled to Birmingham earlier this week for World Mental Health Day, where Kate gave a moving speech to those who attended the forum and workshops. According to Rachel Bowie and Roberta Fiorito, co-hosts of the Royally Obsessed podcast, there has been a significant difference in Kate's public speaking, which is being attributed to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal exit. Roberta was blown away by Kate's address earlier this week and the timeline jumped out to her as tea here has been a shift since Harry and Meghan stepped back from royal engagements. Kate's renewed vitality is being noticed by Rachel as well. Rachel brought it up stating this was such a surprise that Harry and Meghan would be in Nick our home turf practically and also that Kate and William would be out and about. I think Kate has really owned the stage since Harry and Meghan left I think she was always a little nervous when it came to public speaking Roberta said of the Willises. Take a look at this speech and Kate and William co-hosted a panel called Exploring Our Emotional Worlds which focused on discussing G mental health issues. This is a significant step forward Kate said in her thank you speech to the participants. William and I are inspired to see young people like you all here today leading the charge and buying G particularly bold in having some of those difficult talks. You respect and discuss your mental health more than any previous generation which we sincerely love and applaud. After seeing the speech recording Roberta had a short thought. I do think she's still a little nervous and you can tell quickness of breath but yeah, I think she's getting really good at these public speeches.